Microsoft, Apple shares, they're holding up relatively well in today's market, down less than 1%. The company, though, we've been talking about it, facing a number of issues, including a DOJ lawsuit and now a new potential embarrassment, let's call it, for the company. John Stewart says Apple discouraged him from interviewing FTC chair Lena Khan on his short-lived Apple TV show. Joining us now to talk more about this is CNBC technology correspondent Steve Kovac. We're not supposed to worry about content. There's so much out oh, there. Right. Generative AI strategy, the exactly. App Store, Europe. Yeah, and this is becoming kind of a PR blender. So we kind of learned some of this last year when John Stewart left Apple and the reports were he wanted to do a story on China, artificial intelligence, and now we're learning from what he said last night. He wanted to bring Lena Khan on an interview, and Apple told him no. By the way, now that he's on the record about this, I asked Apple. They're big silent. I think they kind of want this to blow over. But what's interesting about this is, and a lot of commentary has already been bandied about, is this kind of ties back to the DOJ lawsuit. I just want to read you this one part. It's kind of bananas, but I'm going to read you this part of the DOJ lawsuit. Uh, quote, Apple's conduct extends beyond just monopoly profits and even affects the flow of free speech. For example, Apple was rapidly expanding its role as a TV and movie producer and has exercised that role to control content. Interesting argument here. Basically, basically saying, you know, because Apple is rich and successful they they don't get to choose what that's like saying They're like a tiny tiny it, tiny but it doesn't even matter how big they are that's like saying the people in this building right now can't decide what airs on cnbc mm -hmm. the government's positioning here seems to be i don't know to compel apple to let john stewart interview lena khan or do a story on ai no that's not how it works mm -hmm. they had apple was their employer his employer that doesn't mean it's not embarrassing or a blunder for Apple. It's a bad PR look, but it's not illegal. Mm -hmm. And and the, it's just really interesting the DOJ is kitchen sinking everything. So I take it you this. would say if we extended this back to other companies yeah. that have been uh, assailed on free speech grounds. Same thing. The company is saying, we are the publisher here. Mm -hmm. We are the owner of this platform. We have the right to not post your posts. Just like we have. And this, this has been going on since Elon Musk took over Twitter, now mm -hmm. X. Mm -hmm. uh, and, p and people seem to forget that it, First Amendment doesn't give you the right to post on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It gives you the right to say it. It gives it you the right to say it. It does not mean that, exactly. that, that, a, that a platform owner is, should be exactly. compelled. Exactly. So if Elon Musk wants to make it a safe space for Nazis to post, that's fine. He has a right to do that, but it's not illegal, and the government doesn't get to tell him that. You know, when I hear you read that part from the DOJ lawsuit, it just makes me think that they're undermining their own argument by going after things like this, where Apple is just such a small player in the streaming wars. But I also wonder how it relates to sort of this broader picture, right? We say that Apple, the biggest downside of what's happening right now, all of this scrutiny from regulators, is that it's distracted. Exactly. Right? And this is or just could one get distracted more, as yes. this goes on. Yes. Does Apple have to deal with this? Do they have to do anything? They, for, on this specific thing, no. And they're not doing anything. Yeah. They're literally being silent on it, just kind of letting it blow over, letting Jon Stewart say what but he wants to say. does it hurt? I mean, so much of their proposition, right? They have to go out to the biggest Hollywood producers and talent and say, work with us. Does that hurt them? Yeah. Welcome to the media business, Tim Cook, because you yeah. have to deal with different creators with different opinions who want to do different things. And some of them, like Jon Stewart did, aren't going to want to, you know, have to do what you want content-wise. Did Stewart air any of the stories that... that uh, the China story. No, the, well, he did the AI story last night. He did night. the AI story. I, it's unclear if that was the exact and he didn't, AI story. Did he interview Lena Khan on, on, on Daily Apple's? Show last night? He did it on Daily Show last night. Was yeah. he critical of Apple during that That's interview? where he brought it up. He basically said to Lena Khan, Apple didn't, didn't want, want me to, me to have, interview. have this conversation with you. And this is and not now the that I'm on Paramount, I can't. Is it Ex Paramount? I think it's Paramount. No, what it's a, well, Paramount, but Comedy Central, yeah. Comedy Central. But, and, Paramount Plus, I think you can share it too. But I mean, this this is not the first time Apple has played content moderator. You, you might right. remember years and years ago, they booted Alex Jones off the podcast app because of some nasty things he was saying related to Sandy Hook and so forth. So, Well, this was only part of the reason that Jon Stewart left Apple. There's right. supposed to be even more stories they wanted to China, do. So this could just be yeah. the start. I'm looking forward to see what he does on China yeah. and AI, which puts Apple in a really tricky the situation. The AI story is interesting, but the China story is also interesting because we know... So much of Apple's tied up in yeah. China. They would be afraid. The last thing they want to do is have a very critical a, China uh, uh, story uh, uh, out there uh, that they produced. Yeah. And so, of course, they told him no. Well, this, this might work in their benefit. It, it's if a bad look. If again, he goes and does a critical Chinese story, not it with could be. Apple. It, it's a bad look for Apple. The, the, I, I want to be clear. It does. It is a PR blunder for them. Yeah. It, it is embarrassing, but not illegal, as the DOJ and so many others online have been alleging. All right, Steve. Thanks very thanks, much. Guys. We appreciate it.